Recently, I had to travel from Prague to Brno to pick up some stuff I'll need for my studies at university. My options of getting there were either driving down the nightmarish D1 highway or taking a train. The choice was clear. In this video, I'll review the different classes of the railjet service from Prague to Brno, the most important and busiest city pair in this country. Before the video starts, please consider subscribing. It's free and it helps out a ton. Thanks and on to the video. The trip starts at Prague main train station, the busiest train station in the country. Because I was traveling on a long distance train with a seat reservation, I was granted access to České Drahy's special lounge, ČD Lounge. So I decided to check it out. Calling this a lounge is quite the exaggeration. It's a small waiting room with tables, a coffee machine and a selection of three types of tea. There was a receptionist who checked my ticket, but after that I was left alone. I didn't film inside, because there were lots of people inside and I didn't want to shove a camera into their face, but I can say that the room was pretty small. I decided to make myself some tea, and while the quality was certainly nothing special, it was free with my ticket, so I can't really complain. On my way back, I visited the České Drahy lounge in Brno main train station. There was no one there, so I decided to film the interior. Again, I don't think it's anything to write home about, it's a waiting room with a coffee machine and a small selection of tea. However, I definitely didn't complain. Now, it's time to review the train itself. The line I took from Prague main train station to Brno main train station is the České Drahy Railjet RJ257 Windobona, České Drahy's most premium offering in the Prague to Brno route. A case could be made for the Eurocity Metropolitan train to Budapest being the most luxurious. However, I personally disagree. The railjet's second class is set up in a 2-2 configuration, with pairs of seats at each side of the carriage. This is one of the standard configurations of České Drahy long distance trains, a lot of them are configured like this. Exceptions include routes that use Pendolino trains, those are configured in a 2-1 configuration, night trains with sleeping carriages, and trains with passenger compartments. In my opinion, the railjet second class isn't anything special, it's what you'd expect from a second class train. It gets you from point A to point B in a relatively comfortable manner, for a good price. Depending on the time of purchase, and if you want a flexible ticket, the price for a second class ticket varies, but if you book about 2 weeks in advance, you can get a ticket from Prague to Brno for 329 Czech crowns or 13.13 euros. Now, let's move a step up in service. The railjet's first class is built in a 2-1 configuration, offering increased space and privacy, which people like me extremely appreciate when working or doing similar stuff. I took this seat in the back of the carriage. I like seats in corners like this. The seats, which are black with red trim, compared to the blue seats of the second class, are somewhat more comfortable than the second class ones, but where they really shine is in the legroom. I'm quite a tall guy, so fitting in a cramped second class seat can sometimes be… difficult, to say the least. There are no such difficulties in first class for me, my legs fit in the legroom nicely, with plenty of room to spare. After the trip started, a conductor came to check our tickets, and then handed out half liter water bottles to everyone. Shortly after, a snack cart service came out and offered people snacks, coffee, that sort of thing. I didn't order anything, but I liked the service, which was provided directly to my seat. One thing that kinda bothered me was the small size of the seat back pocket. It was quite small, making fitting things larger than something like a phone difficult. Other than that, I liked the experience. I liked the extra privacy that the 2-1 configuration provided. I really liked the extra legroom and the more comfortable seat. Unlike with second class, first class tickets don't seem to have dynamic pricing. Normally, a first class ticket from Prague to Brno will run you 649 Czech crowns or 25.9 euros. However, I managed to book it for 325 crowns or 13 euros due to holding a special pass for students, children, the disabled and the elderly. If you're a part of at least one of these groups, you can buy a special pass called In Parisa Trvín Třída for 490 Czech crowns or 19.5 euros per year. Holding this pass cuts the fare for first class seats in half, allowing for more frequent booking of first class rides. Would I book a first class seat if I had to travel to Brno again? 
Probably not, unless I was within budget constraints that allowed me to book first class, but not business class. Speaking of business class... The most luxurious class that České dráhy offers, business class, is quite the leap from the first class, in my opinion. Instead of an upgraded second class seat with more legroom, you get a massive, adjustable leather seat with an integrated table in the right armrest. After getting your ticket checked by the conductor, you also get a 50 crown or 2 euro voucher for the train's restaurant carriage, a half liter bottle of water and a free welcome drink directly to your seat. A lady from the restaurant carriage came to my seat and offered me a free drink from a selection of Pepsi, coffee, tea, champagne and because we're in the Czech Republic, beer. I chose Pepsi because I've already had enough tea that day and I don't like the others. With that, I also ordered hot chocolate to use the 50 crown coupon I received. A little while later, the attendant brought me a small glass Pepsi bottle, a glass and a mug of hot chocolate with a spoon and a small biscuit. Overall, I really enjoyed both drinks and the fact that I got them both for basically free was a cherry on top. The trip flew by quickly and soon enough, I found myself in Prague again. Now, let's get back to my previous question. Why wouldn't I travel in first class on this route if I wasn't constrained by my budget? Booking a business class ticket on České Drahy's railjet trains involves booking a first class ticket and then buying an additional reservation for a business class seat. The ticket costs the same as a regular first class ticket and the reservation costs between 100 to 150 Czech crowns or 4 to 6 euros. In my opinion, you get way more value out of a business class seat on this route. I mean, just the free drink and a 50 crown restaurant voucher gives you about 100 crowns or 4 euros of value. In my opinion, you get way more comfort out of a business class seat compared to the additional money you have to pay. What kind of bothered me about business class is there was no space to put your things. There is no seat back pockets on business class seats. You have to either put your stuff beside you or above you. But other than that, I really liked it. So, to answer my original question, if I wanted to spend money on extra comfort, I'd spring for a business class instead. Normally, this ticket would have cost 799 crowns or about 31.9 euros. However, České Drahy has a loyalty program which awards you points for traveling on their trains. I spent 550 points and got the ticket for free. I only had to pay 150 crowns or 6 euros for the seat reservation. If I bought the ticket normally, with my aforementioned 50% discount pass for first class seat, the ticket would have cost me 475 crowns or 19 euros. In conclusion, if you ever find yourself traveling from Prague to Brno, I'd recommend trying out České Drahe's business class offering. You don't need to sell a kidney to book it, unlike with airplane business class, and I'd say that it's quite a luxurious travel experience. Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching to the end, you're a real legend. If you'd like to support my work, I have a Ko-Fi page with three membership tiers, all of which bring you sweet benefits, like early access to my videos. There are also affiliate links to the equipment I use to make these videos in the description. Any help would be greatly appreciated. I'd also like to take this time to thank Monday's Last Brain Cell and Aero Martian for supporting the channel with the top membership tier. I can't express how grateful I am for the support. Enjoy the bloopers, this has been Tramley and I'll see you next time, bye! It gets you from point A to point B in a relatively comfortable manner, for a good price. Depending on the time of purchase, the price for a second class ticket varies, but if you book about two weeks in advance, you can get a- uh, bro. Ah. The seats, which are black with red trim, compared to the- Bro. Ah. Ugh. Normally, a first class ticket from Prague to Brno costs 600-